Hi guys, welcome back. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing. I have to say that this is inspired by Hung Wango's uh, makeup tutorial and it's on his channel. I will link it down below in the description box if you want to go watch it. So I've kind of bought a fall twist to the makeup tutorial that he did on his channel and I've used as you can see very fall burnt orangey shades because i really wanted to do a fall tutorial this year and as you can see the entire look is very matte but it still looks very skin like doesn't look you know flat and dead kind of a matte so without further ado let's get into the video i'm going to start off with prepping my face and i'm using the ola henriksen banana bright eye cream so basically it's an under eye cream that has a little bit of a yellowish tint to it and therefore what it does is it kind of brightens underneath the eyes so can you see the difference between this and this eye i mean to be honest i don't really like eye creams but i will keep repurchasing this one just for this effect when i'm going makeup free and my dark circles are horrible which most of the time they are i love wearing this but i do have to say that it kind of leaves a yellow tint underneath your eyes and sometimes i'm okay with it and i'll just go about my day just like that but sometimes i'll just use a little less amount so that it's less visible so as you probably read in the title today's base and makeup is going to be all matte so what i'll do is i'll put a little bit of this uh, primer by physicians formula it's the spotlight illuminating primer i'm doing this so that our skin still looks healthy underneath whatever i have left over on my hands i'm putting it here on my forehead on my nose and here on my chin I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. I'm going to put this underneath my eyes to conceal my dark circles. I'm also just concealing any blemish marks that I might have. Now if you don't have really bad circles or blemish marks, first of all you're lucky. Second of all you can totally skip this step. I'm actually about to do something that might look crazy for a few seconds but you will see it looks really pretty at the end. So I'm gonna take this lipstick by Sugar Cosmetics. It's called their Matte As Hell Crayon Lipstick in Claire Underwood. So it's a very uh, terracotta-ish color which is of course perfect for fall. And I'm actually going to put it on heavily like that much on my cheeks and then blend it out with my fingers i'm still going to use a foundation on top that is why it doesn't matter if i go overboard with the blush and i do want this blush to peek through from underneath our foundation so for foundation i really wanted to use something that i know everybody will probably have and still is a matte foundation that will suit a lot of skin types i think you already know what foundation i'm talking about i'm talking about the maybelline matte plus poreless fit me foundation of course i wear the shade 230 natural buff however i do feel like this is about two shades light for me but somehow it works for me at the end after i blend everything i'm only using about this much of the foundation because i want a very sheer layer of the foundation i don't want to like overdo it because that's not really my style anymore for makeup so i'm going to pick it up on my beauty sponge and i'm actually going to start here underneath where our blush is Let's move on to our brows. To fill in my brows, I'm using this Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Brown and it's my absolute favorite brow pencil and I love that it comes with a spoolie and the color is absolutely perfect and I love how quick and easy it makes my brows. You see that? I mean, come on. You cannot ignore a brow like that. I'm using this Wet n Wild Mega Glare Brow and Lash Mascara. It's a clear mascara and I'm going to take off most of the product 
and then I'm going to run it through my brows kind of using it as a setting gel and also to push my brows a little bit up so I get that feathery effect but I don't really want like the full feathery effect just a little bit you know and a little bit lift in my brows Okay, so now let's prime our eyes and for that I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. This is in C2. Actually quite like this concealer. It has great coverage, like really great coverage. Alright, so I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette for the fall look because is there a palette that is more perfect for a fall look than this? I don't think so. But before I use that, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild contouring palette and I'm going to use the yellow shade on my brush, very little amount and I'm going over my eyelid to set it. A very little amount, you don't need a lot at all because then your eyeshadow won't stick to it. I'm starting off with this shade over here. It's a very neutral crease shade is the best way I can describe it. A very, very, very medium toned skin tone shade. I'm taking it on a fluffy brush like this and just running it through my crease. I'm now taking a brush like this. It's still a fluffy brush but it's just a little bit smaller. I'm going to pick up these two shades. This is kind of a muted burnt orange shade and this one is a bright burnt orange shade in my opinion. And I'm going to take a mixture of these two. Taking an eyeliner brush and putting the same combo of colors as kind of like a smudged out liner on my lash line. This is how my eye is looking so far. The crease is very, very well defined and kind of like a graphic crease. We have an eyeliner going on with the same color and then I've put the same color on my outer edges also. And of course, I've blended out all the edges around my eye. Taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Under Eye Powder. And I'm gonna take this on a little tiny brush like this one. Now I'm going to brighten my eye where we don't have the shadow so I'm taking the same uh, banana powder shade from the wet and wild palette I'm going to clean up my lid with this and brighten it so I've basically placed this wherever we had empty lid space and I've also focused on the inner corner here so that it kind of I guess that kind of elongates it. So before we get to finish our eyelids, we're gonna conceal our under eyes. Remember I didn't apply a brightening concealer underneath my eyes. That was actually on purpose because I wanted to wait until I was done with my eyeshadow so that all the fallout is out of my way basically. I'm going to mix these two concealers just to go over it again. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Pure Beige. And then this is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C2. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder again and I'm only going to set underneath my eyes and maybe on my forehead also. So there is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder that is different. You can set your entire face with this but this one is specifically for underneath your eyes because apparently it's supposed to brighten them. Well, we'll see how it does with that. Hmm. Is this under eye a little bit more brighter than this one? Let me see in my mirror. 
Honestly, I don't think this under eye is brighter than this one. However, I do like the powder to set my under eyes because it's extremely finely milled and it does not dry out my under eyes, which is always what we want for our under eyes because usually that's a very dry area of our face. I'm also setting on my T-zone with the same powder, a very light dusting. I don't really think it matters if I use a different powder or the same one. Picking up this shade from the palette. I'm gonna put it underneath my lash line or on my lash line, lower lash line. Just like that. I'm taking this brown eyeliner by Colourpop. This is in the shade Mr. Bing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's in the shade Mr. Bing. I'm putting this in my lower waterline. So I'm using this new mascara by Maybelline, well new for me, I know it's been out in the States for a little while but in India it's a new launch and this is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara, this is the waterproof version. I don't know if they have a non-waterproof version, I do prefer those because they're easier to take off but the curl that you get with a waterproof mascara on your eyelashes, it lasts you the entire day. I've had some real hype around this mascara so really excited to try this also there used to be a Maybelline mascara that was also called falsies this is called the falsies lash lift that was called I think just the falsies and it also used to come in a purple tube but the packaging of it was more like this Maybelline mascaras rarely disappoint I don't know what it is but they always have really nice mascaras I'm going to use this lash separator to get the clumps out a little bit and make them more separated. I'm going to use the same Wet n Wild contour and highlight palette. I'm going to use the same shade to bronze slash contour my face. I specifically chose this bronzer because it's very warm and I thought it will go amazingly with our eyeshadow and our lips. I remember the first time I got this palette and I touched it, it was so so soft. Taking the Wet n Wild blush in Mellow Wine, I'm going to concentrate it just on my cheeks because we already have a blush if you remember. But I just want kind of that winter pinched cheek glow. That is why I'm adding this. Taking the same Sugar Cosmetics Lip Crayon, this is in Clair Underwood. And you'll see it's a very fall shade. You see that? Oh my god, it's so perfect. Since this is a very dark shade, I'm going to correct my lip line and make it a little bit more smoother and perfect with a lip liner. For that, I'm using this Nykaa Lipstone Lie Lip Liner in Chocolate Boy. It's a very nude shade, not at all similar to the shade that I'm wearing, but it's a nude shade so it works with everything. So this is the complete result. I really hope that you guys like it. If you recreate this, please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever. And also follow me on all those places. All my social media handles along with all the products that I used in today's video will be linked in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching my video and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.